Hello, everyone. My name is Marilyn Grosbeck Robertson, and today I would like to tell you a little about my grandfather, John Sanderson Grosbeck, and is considered a pioneer, even though he was born right here in Springfield, Utah, on March 11th, 1866. His parents were Nicholas R. Harmon Grosbeck and Rhoda Sanderson Grosbeck, and they were the parents of ten children, five sons and five daughters, and my grandfather was one of their sons. Quoting my grandfather, the reason my father was a polygamist, having three wives, uh, he spent much of his time underground endeavoring to escape the officers of the law. However, he was finally arrested early one morning in August and sentenced to serve from six to 18 months in the Utah Penitentiary for an infraction of what is known as the Edmonds Tucker Law. This one time when they were out in the fields, they built the fire to cook the lunch and a dust devil came around and picked up uh, some of the fire and blew it over on the next the man's haystack whose property was next to his. And so they had to get an attorney and they got, let's see, the attorney that he hired was Abraham Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> I remember you telling me that now, and I totally had forgotten. Yeah. Wow. So, did they win? <laughs> well, the the young boy was put in jail, and they well, what this other farmer wanted was totally ridiculous, yeah. and. Lincoln suggested what would be a good, fair amount to pay him. And uh, he didn't want that, he wanted a little more. But the interesting thing <coughs> was my great grandpa, who was in jail, uh, the guy who had the complaint had to pay his. Uh, what it cost to keep him in jail. Oh, you ended up having to pay. Huh? Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> well, that's something else. So that's, <laughs> that's another story. In the spring of 1890, I been, began calling on Miss Nettie Kerr. Uh, some two or three years before this time, Nettie was boarding with Bishop Packard's family, as was my usual custom in opening up our place of business. One morning, as I opened the south window shutters of the store, it facing the north window of the Packard family, Nettie was standing, looking out of this window, directly in line with mine. She was startled for the instant, for an instant. She beheld me at the window. The impression came to her in these words, there is to be your future husband. This summer was spent very pleasantly together. She being a milliner, almost every night I would accompany her home from her place of business and enjoyed the evening. 
in chatting with her and grandmother, of course. The latter part of July, I received a call to go on a mission to New Zealand. During the interval between the 1st and the 18th, many things took place. I will mention a few. Miss Kerr and I enjoyed a few bouts together. While we seemed to be very much in love with each other, yet there was no engagement between us, but a mutual understanding that on my return, if all is well between us, we would be joined in holy wedlock at a future day. Grandpa returned from his mission, married Nettie Kerr. Uh, he worked up at the, the cane at the power place for a year. Uh, he had also had many other jobs always planted a beautiful garden, many vegetables that he shared with neighbors. Uh, he had four children, Ruth, Rhoda, Roe, and Earl, who went by Monty, who was my father. And he had a beautiful piano, and that was the one I learned to play on. I loved my grandpa, Grosbeck. He was truly an honorable, caring grandpa. <laughs>